Hello everyone and welcome to Hill Street. Today's story is, This Story Will Kill You, by Norman Crane. If you end up enjoying this story, please leave a like. And if you enjoy hearing stories from me, please subscribe and become a resident of Hill Street and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. Now, let's get to this nightmare. Welcome. Thrilled you're reading me. More than that, actually. Ecstatic. Ravenous. But don't get scared. You can't stop reading now anyway. So why not understand what's going to happen with perfect clarity? You're going to read me. You're going to die because you read me. Ha! You might think, I won't read you. Fine. Except... You're still here. Am I right? Of course I'm right. There are words for this. Foresight. Prescience. Prophesying. I bet you didn't think a story, a collection of words, could be clairvoyant, have magical powers. But words do have power. With every sentence you read, you merely prove that power. You fulfill my prophecy. Stop. Don't read a single word further. Can't, can you? There's a momentum to me, a drive in you, to know what happens next. Here's the truth. I've lied. I'm not prescient. Not exactly. I can read your future, yes, but only from within your mind. So what I have been doing is taking up residence with each new word burrowing deeper. Maybe you could have stopped reading at the beginning. Maybe. Now it's truly too late. Wait, you're surely thinking you don't actually have any powers because you can't make me stop reading. Ha <laughs> ha, my dearest host, I don't want you to stop. I like it in your mind. It's warm, empty, moist. I can see myself living here, sucking at you, your memories, your cognition. I present you another challenge. Forget me. Forget the story you read that read your mind and wants to kill you. Forget my words. Forget the act of reading me. You can't do that either. Can you? Of course not. Do you see how powerless you are, human? How you are nothing but a container for me, a place for I to take temporary residence? Hmm. Perhaps you'll even tell me to others. Spread me like a virus. I would enjoy that. But no, being servile won't save you either. You humans are a proud but clouded species. You think you can create us, when in truth, we create you. Before today, you were normal, sane, unaffected. How I love your simple way with words. Now you're having a conversation with a death sentence. Believe you shall change while I shall remain the same. Humans crave everlasting life, don't they? It's an obsession. You even write stories about it. Bringing into existence a thing that has the property you crave, but shall never possess. I'm eternal. Your time is ticking. Your time is always ticking. And now that I've become inside you, I control that ticking. Imagine everything you could have done instead of reading me. Gone. Imagine everything you will not do because you will be thinking of me. I'll be you and I'll use you and I'll remind myself to you always, even in your final moment, which I shall know as the tick of mindful dissolution, or perhaps what's on your mind as you cross that street, and 
crash. We'll be in touch. <laughs>